Hey, what's up? It's me, the Pepperoni Jabroni, and welcome back to The Deep Dish. This week, we are doing Newman's Own Mushroom Trio Pizza. Why waste time talking about anything else? Let's get right into this deliciousness. Pepperoni Jabroni. Dramatic music. Presentation, cut, crust, freshness, nose, flavor explosion, mouthfeel, Pizza Hut, Finish, almost lost that one, and would I eat this if I was high? Okay, presentation. There's a lot of, lot of mushrooms on here. All right, I guess it goes to show you that no matter how hard you shake a piece of pizza, you can get almost anything to fall off. It also goes to show you that the harder you shake the pizza of masculinity, the easier it is to see the idea of masculinity is totally made up and invented. Crust! All right, as you can see, this is a pretty thin crust. A one finger crust. It's making me realize how thin the idea is that masculinity is better than femininity. I mean, that's silly. One, they're both totally made up. And two, they're completely different. That's like saying that Darth Vader is better than Santa Claus. Well, that depends. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to hand out a bunch of presents? Or are you trying to invade a planet? I am your father. No! Hey, this is rough. Uh, Reggie's not here right now, and I got the usual implements, got the pizza, but they haven't really worked in the past, so. <sighs> okay, there's a lot to talk about in here. Mainly, the thing that I'm smelling in this pizza is a lot of the examples we put forward as strength in culture is actually cruelty. And a lot of the ideas that we put forth as weakness is actually vulnerability. And that's a shame, right? Because men can and need to be vulnerable too. But we're told we have to be strong all the time. Usually those examples are just examples of cruelty. Also, there's like a lot of mushrooms on here. These mushrooms are popping. Explosion is this. There's this. <laughs> whoa, there is a lot of flavor coming out of this. Um, the one I'm getting is the, the alpha beta dynamic that is usually pushed in relationship to maleness is totally made up and pushed by very insecure people. Status exists, but it's um, fluid, it changes in context, and it's not like a static part of your personality. That's really silly. And your social standing in any given context is not a reflection of your worth as a person. Alpha, beta, it's all made up. And it's pushed by people who probably don't feel very good about themselves. The mouthfeel is a little bit different. It's um. It's got good crunch, and the mushrooms really blend in here nicely. Uh, it actually really speaks to the fact that men being open about their feelings with other men is actually one of the best things you can do for yourself. And it's scary, because we've conditioned people to think that's abnormal or weird. But it isn't. You should share your feelings when appropriate. Pizza Hut! Alright, it doesn't taste very much like Pizza Hut, so I'm going to have to knock it. I'm going to give it a two. Hey, if you like the content you're getting right now, just so you know, one of the best things you can do for the channel is just like the video. Just click like, that's it. That's literally the best thing you can do. All right, finish. It's still kind of hanging out there. I'm gonna have like notes of mushroom and like cheese all day long. I'm very excited. It also reminds me, right, that being a good fighter doesn't make you a man. In fact, most of the time, just makes you an asshole. Finally, would I eat this if I was high? Now this comes with the usual disclaimer that I don't get high. I do not get high, I'm not somebody who gets high, and there's nothing wrong with getting high, but I do think it's important to mention that I don't get high. 
But if I did get high, would I eat this pizza? Oh yeah, I would totally eat this pizza if I was high. I'd probably sit down, eat like two of these things, talk about my feelings with some of my closest guy friends, sharing feelings, listening. It's all okay to do. Being sensitive isn't unmasculine. So would I eat this if I was high? <clears throat> oh yeah, boy would I. All right, and that brings us to our final score, which is, it's okay for men to have feelings, it's okay for men to share their feelings, and most importantly, it is okay for men to be vulnerable with platonic friends. In fact, we need it. We need it badly right now. But the final score is definitely not, back in my day, men were strong, because number one, it was never true. Number two, it's gonna get somebody killed. Maybe you. All right, so remember, if you like the content on here, please give the channel a like. It's the best thing you can do. And if you want to support the channel but you can't do the Patreon account, remember, you can always order a t-shirt. Hit me up at geekdishreview at gmail.com. And remember, it's okay to like. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe to the channel, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. But if you really want to help, the biggest help you can give us is you can go to our Patreon account and you can sign up to become a patron. You get segments early, you get cold opens early, and you can even tell me what kind of pizza to eat. Even $5 a month really helps out a fledgling creator like myself. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you back here soon.